What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video I wanted to show you how you can add some transitions to all those effects we've been doing before. Okay, so instead of when you hover over an element it immediately takes that action, uh, you, can, you can adjust and customize how you want that transformation to actually take place. Okay, so let me just show you what it's going to look like. So that is an animation that is not a transition, okay, um, but that's a little preview of what we'll be doing in one of the later videos. Uh, something pretty cool you can have on any element again, but this would be a um, an example of a transition. So as you can see here, when I hover over it, it takes an action, but it doesn't do it immediately. It's not like when I hover over it, it's boom, done, right? It, it, it takes some time to roll over. So I'll show you what options you have and how you can customize that. <sighs> Before that, though, I think let me... Uh... Let me just shut off <laughs> that little rotation. I think it's going to drive me nuts. Okay, so um, let's play with this element and let's see what options you guys have. So there's four different um, declarations we can input for this. So let me put that in here. And um, so first of all, let's say let's say what command you want. Okay, so uh, um, what what feature you wanted to have upon hovering. Okay, so let's say you wanted to. You can do opacity as we've done in this video, right? Anything you want. Uh, I'll make it something obvious. I'll just do a regular um, 2D transformation here um, just to make it obvious, but you can use anything you want actually, right? You can do any change you want, like you can do opacity, anything like that. Um, so I'll just do rotate here just to show you an example. Um, okay, so we've done that. So we've determined what we wanted to show up on hovering over it. So if you hover over this, it's going to rotate. But notice how it's immediate, right? So we need it to happen in some time. So we're going to customize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write four different elements we need, um, four different parts we're going to adjust. By the way, ignore this top part, okay? So all this, that just applies to the first picture. Just ignore it. I just had it there for example purposes. So don't worry about that. Uh, we're starting completely from scratch, okay? So I'm going to say transition property, transition delay, and transition timing function. So let's go over those. I'll tell you what they are, what they do. So transition, first part, basic and simple. How long do you want your transformation to take place over? Uh, do you want it to happen in one second? Do you want it to happen in 10 seconds? Okay. If I write 10 S here, by the way, let me write semicolons for all that. So that to end that little decoration, that is going to take place over 10 seconds. Okay. If I make this one second, it's going to happen over one second. Okay. Play around with that. It's called transition. Just put transition, double dot, play around. So next thing we'll do, let's go over property. Um, I will show you an example of this a bit later. What a property is, is if you have several transitions, if you have a transformation, if you have a background color change, if you have opacity change, if you want to change any one of those only, then you will specify which one. So you can say color, you can say opacity, what, what, whatever it is you're working on. Okay. In this case, we're just going to say, all. I mean, we, 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 we only have one transition right now, but I will show you an example later on where we'll have a few. Okay. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so you know what that is. So delay is after how long do you want the, uh, transformation to take place? And after it does take place, after how long do you want it to go back to its original position? So for instance, if I put one second here, again, one S, as you can see, I hovered over it, it didn't do anything for one second. After I leave it, it's not doing anything for one second, okay? Uh, so that's that, play around with that. Okay, timing function, this is, um, you have one second in, in our example, there's one second for the transition to take place. So this timing function says, um, how evenly do you want that one second to be distributed? Do you want it to be linearly distributed or evenly, which looks something like this? Okay, and by the way, let me let, let me just uh, remove this delay just to make things faster. Uh, but yeah, notice how it's even out, right? Um, evened out. So play around with that. Maybe you want to make it ease, which is going to make it slow, then fast, then slow again. So it, it's, it's hard to see here because it's... Um, let me see if I can make this rotation a bit. Let me make this five seconds. Let me make it rotate maybe 180 degrees. So as you can see, it's slow. It speeds up a bit, and then it re goes really slow again, right? And then slow, speeds up, slow, okay? Um, 
You can do different functions here. You can do ease in. So ease in, you're going to take it slow. And then it's going to speed up again, okay? So that's up to you. Play around with that. These are the options that are available to you, okay? So you can use this on any element, something pretty cool. Let me just show you now if you do have um, several um, several transformations that you're transitioning at the same time. So I'm going to pretend I'm going to input, you know, just a block. Im imagine this is a rectangle, okay? And I am going to apply what we've done in this video now uh, for several transitions. So I'm just going to... So first thing, uh, let's say when you hover over it, you want to make it, uh, let's change the background color. Uh, let's make it green. And when you hover over it, let's, um, let's also transform it. So transform, rotate, maybe we'll do 30 degrees. Okay, so as you can see here, when I hover over this element, it's going to perform these two actions, right? So there, you see? It, it did both. It transformed and it changed the color, okay? So now what we need to do is let me just, uh, let me actually customize this element to um, have a certain color and a certain position right now. So instead of hover, I'm just going to make this background color red, for example, just to see easier. Okay, so it's red. As you can see, if I hover over this, okay? It changes color immediately. There's no transition whatsoever, and it also uh, rotates. Okay. So suppose I only want this. Suppose I only want the color to change over two seconds, but the rotation I want to be immediate. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to again put in all these guys in there. I'm just going to copy to make it faster. Um, so I'm going to put it in here to remove that okay so now we need to add that transition right um, I'll make it linear as well just to speed things up a bit okay so now we have two things we have background color we have transform okay we need to change now if I just say color here it won't work because there's no color there's only a background color okay so so what you need to do is you need to literally exactly copy paste whatever you have here into your transition property so we changed here uh, background color. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Uh, we changed here background color, right? As you can see, their background color. So I'm just going to say background color. And now this is only going to apply. This, tra this transition that you've done will only apply to the background color. As you can see right there, it takes five seconds to change that color, right? So something pretty cool. Um, you know, if I want to make this a bit faster, again, for the purpose of this video, I'll make it two. And then over two seconds, it's going to change, actually. Let me see. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why it wasn't two seconds here. I need to change that to two seconds. There you go. Okay, so that was a bit faster. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's about it. Play around with this. Um, I mean, there's there's like millions of combinations you can do with all these, right? Um, I'm not here to go over every single one just to show you what you can do, how you can play around with it. Um, so make sure to check out the other videos that I posted on, you know, um, hovering effects on uh, different transformations we've done. So you can apply it here and use the transitions on there. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next videos. Uh, one of the next videos where I'll be doing uh, animations. So things like, as you saw at the beginning of the video, you know, the whole picture spinning, whether you're hovering over it or not, that is an animation. Um, so thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys later.